Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life and today I got a special edition. We're going to teach you how to use a zero turn mower if you've never done that before. Now some people uh, maybe have cut grass and, and don't uh, but never have been on actual zero turn mower and it's not that hard. Okay, let's start by saying that. But like a lot of things, it can take some experience. And even for those that have some experience, you may notice that over time you get more comfortable with it and it becomes almost second nature to you. So today we're gonna to be uh, riding a stand on more. This is the X Mark Stars and, uh, and I'm gonna be teaching, I've got my wife here is gonna ride the mower. So let's gonna um, show her the, the controls and then we're gonna actually watch her cut the front yard here and see how it goes so let's get started all right so here's the mower this is a 60 inch uh, star and i'm gonna go over the controls here real quick so all right so tell me first off just a little bit about your experience level cutting grass have you ever ridden a, a lawn mower uh you know any kind not a zero term just in, in general no never in my life have you ever used a push mower no. Never. Okay. So you never <laughs> cut the grass. It's a good time to get started with that skill. I have you uh, as my husband. Yeah, so that's true. That's true. That's a very good point. <laughs> uh, well, today we're going to, instead of starting with a push mower or some granny garden tractor, we're going to go ahead and start you on this one, which is a lot more fun in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to go over some of the basics. So if you, you know, we're both uh, going to be wearing ear and eye protection. That's very important. And you want to understand the safety precautions before you get on a machine like this, because you know what, what makes them so great and this, you know, any mower or any piece of equipment, you know, they're great, but they're also powerful. So we want to make sure that we're following proper safety precautions. So, you know, standing on the mower, and we're gonna go over some of the, the basics here. And on this particular one, this is your emergency brake. And you have to have that on to crank the mower and you have to release it for it to go. If you try to, to, to go without that being turned off, then it will shut the mower off. And this is your PTO switch. So this engages the blades when you get ready to cut. And here's our, our choke, and I've already cranked it up, so we probably don't need to choke it again. And this is our uh, throttle here, so we can, the turtle, obviously slow, rabbit is fast, so we'll rev it up and then on I'll switch. And then over here is simply where we're gonna adjust the deck. And if you'll notice, I've got it on the lowest setting, inch and a half. This is the grass here, and you may look at that and say, oh, it doesn't really need cut, and there's even some real bare spots. Well, I've put a ton of fertilizer on this yard, and tried to get it to grow fast and it's just now getting hot and this grass is going to grow fast so i'm trying to keep it cut very short and let it spread and fill in some of these bare spots so it, it will definitely do some cutting even though the grass is not super tall now when you're mowing grass it makes sense to me just like if you were learning to to go skiing you know let's say you were learning to go snow skiing you wouldn't start off on some kind of black diamond slope that's some level 12 that's going to break your leg you want to get out here on flat ground and just do some basics and that's what we're doing today we'll probably just get some practice driving it before we engage the blades and then we're going to engage the blades and actually cut the grass so you know just make let's use some common sense here and don't start off on some advanced level course just get out here and, and practice the basics and build up some comfort level before you maybe uh, put it in a little bit more advanced situation in the same way you wouldn't you know, if you're learning how to drive, you might go, you know, get in an empty parking lot somewhere and uh, learn how to drive a car, that is, and, and not take it out on the Audubon and, and drive 150 miles an hour, you know, something like that. So we, we're going to uh, take it real easy and basic today for beginners. Okay, so now we've went over some of the basics. You go ahead and put your, um, your ear and eye protection in. Very important. All right, you're good. And now stand on the mower. And like we talked about, some of the basics here, we're gonna, we've, we don't need to choke it because I've already cranked it. You gotta have the the uh, blades disengaged. We've got the mercy brake on, so we're gonna leave that on to be able to crank the mower. Okay, so go ahead and turn the key until it cranks. All right, now it's cranked. We're gonna leave it at, at half idle. And now we wanna lower the, uh, 
disengage the mercy brake. So push that down. Push it down hard. Push it, push it forward. There you go. Alright. So now the actual operation of the mower is what you're gonna do, and I and I'm gonna go over this. Uh, but basically, actually I'm gonna turn the mower off just for a second. I should have went over this. Should have went over this without the noise. Sorry. I forgot to go over this. Uh, we need to do this with, without the mower. Now you're standing more, you got you see how to crank it. Um, so let's go over how to steer. So these are your controls. And so you're gonna pull, you know, when they're out, it, it's not gonna work. So you gotta pull them in together, push them together. Okay, now if you push both of them forward, that's gonna be straight forward. If you pull both of them back, it's gonna be straight back. And then if you if you wanna turn to the right, you know, then, then you can push this one more forward. And, and if you want to make it even more of an extreme turn to the right, you push that one forward and that one back. You know, that's where you get the zero turn capacity. You're going to have one side moving forward, the other side moving back. Now, when we're making turns, we don't have to do necessarily a zero turn. We can just kind of take it slow and do like a, a three point turn. And then the opposite would be true. If you want to turn to the left, you're going to push that one forward, you know, and, and you can pull back on that one a little bit. The more forward you push that one and the more back you pull that one, the, the sharper, you know, you're going to have a, a zero turn. But it, it's really easy. We'll just get paying it. We're not going to be cutting very close to anything. So now that we went over that, let's crank the mower again. Um, you don't you just leave the handles out for now. Turn the key. All right. Disengage the, the brake. We're going to push that forward. There you go, good job. All right, now pull the handles into each other and push them forward. I think she's getting the hang of it. Alright, let, let's stop right there. Hold on. Alright. And so, you kind of got the hang of it as far as which way to turn. We, we still have the blades disengaged, but we're going to idle the motor all the way up. We're going to idle the mower all the way up, and that way it gives it the full power. Okay, go ahead. You don't have to go full speed, but you can if you want to. Grass can be fun. You just gotta get the hang of it. It's certainly more fun when you got a big monster machine that like this versus a little push mower or garden tracker or something like that. I want to mention Xmark. Uh, you know, I, I partner with Xmark and work with them through sponsorships, and they've uh, given me this mower, and I've been using it for the past year and love working with it but today we're we're not we're mostly talking about you know things we're learning could really be applicable to any lawnmower you're going to use just trying to show you the basics of operating the lawnmower okay i think she's ready to uh, engage the blade she seems like she's got it. actually i'm going to have her go a little bit faster with it and then we'll try cutting with with the lumber okay all right just leave it on but yeah so leave it on but this out just just go a little bit faster and get the hang up just when you go to turn you can slow down but when you're in you know a straight line just try to go a little bit faster see how it goes She's probably going half speed with it, you know. But again, we're not we're not in a race today. We're just trying to get the hang of it, get comfortable, 
on a new mower. So let's go ahead and uh, engage the blades. Yeah, see what happens when you got real thin grass. We had a big rain yesterday, thin grass and and uh, and wet, a little bit damp. You're gonna leave some tire marks, and that comes with experience too, being able to make gentler turns on the turf. But when you got thick turf, it's also far less likely. All right, she's turning pretty good. So, all right, I think we're ready to, to cut the yard. So. Uh, what you can do is just make a, 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 a pass around the, the whole perimeter. You know, you don't have to get too close over there if you don't want to, but make a pass around the perimeter with the, with the, the grass blowing back to the inside. You know what I'm saying? And you make a pass over here along the edge of the driveway. Don't get on the hill. And then, then you can just start making back and forth passes, you know. Yeah, I'm saying first go around the perimeter. Yeah, just, you know, wherever, go to the end of the grass there, make a, a perimeter pass, and then you can come back over here and just go back and forth after you make one lap all the way around, okay? So what, I'm gonna step away before you turn the blades on, but basically to engage the blades, you have to hold those handles together, okay? Like, like you, you, can't, you can't let them out. So hold them together and pull that little yellow Thing. Let me step away before you do that. But that, and then, and then I tell you, the other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna lower the the deck on the mower. So we got it set on the lowest deck. I'm gonna do this. You just raise up on this and mash the button. I shouldn't say mash. I think that's maybe southern. We press the button and lower the deck all the way down. All right. Yeah, just hold the, the handles together and engage the yep, engage the blades. Alright, it's mowing now. Alright. So we're gonna try to make a perimeter pass, then we're gonna go back and forth and see how it goes. Yeah, you know, I think when she gets the hang of this, she's gonna enjoy it. But I kinda like cutting grass too, so you know. I'm not saying I'm gonna give up all my grass cutting obligations because I enjoy using the mower myself. Especially when I get this yard nice and thick, which I think it's gonna happen in about two months. I'm gonna have way more grass than this. Especially if we keep getting rain and it starts getting hot. Yeah, this is kind of the worst part of the yard out here. It's filling in though. You see all this Bermuda, I'm taking just a brief break. That's gonna start spreading like crazy because I've dropped a bunch of fertilizer. She's doing great. Now I'm gonna keep my distance. We may not set a time record today, at least in a positive sense. Uh, but again, the objective here is just get comfortable with the mower. We're not in a race. Obviously, as the video person, I'm gonna keep my distance away like anybody with common sense would do. Now, with this mower, we've got it set up just side discharging. We're not, um, we're not, you know, mulching or anything. All right. So now she's gonna make back and forth passes. At least that's what I, I think we're gonna try to do. I think that's literally, according to her testimony, and I believe it to be true, her first time to ever cut grass in her entire life. So I'd say she's doing pretty good. a little bit wide. I'm afraid you might be missing a spot in the turns, but I'm going to 
give her a quick instruction on that real quick. I think she's swinging too wide and then she's leaving a gap every time she makes a turn. That's all right. Whenever you, whenever you turn the the mower, you're you're turning kind of wide, and it's you know kind of missing a section every time you turn. You can just you can go past go past where you need to and get it turned around straight, and then that way you can come right back down without leaving a gap. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, you can just go past. You know. Go on past where you need to, you don't have to turn around real sharp, just go past where you need to turn. If you miss something, it ain't a big deal, we fix it. You don't have to make like a three-point turn or just whip it around on a dime. You can you can make a, a half turn and then then you know back up and then get straight on your next line. So uh, anyway, I was just encouraging her to go on past. All right now, back up. Let's see if she. Well, that's all right. Keeping it positive. If anybody makes any critical comments about this, remember first time you ever cut grass entire life. So obviously, if there's any critical comments, you'll most likely be banned from the channel for life. You know, kind of thing. So spare me from that. And yes, they do have the ban from the channel button on YouTube and I get to use it just about every week because somebody says something so ridiculous that I have to cut them off. So she's doing good on her on her passes like I said uh, if I could uh, the, the tip of the day moving forward to be on her turns because she's swinging wide and she's leaving a leaving a gap every every time but if I can uh, go over that one more time because I think I'm not sure I explained the concept well of, of turning. Can, can you can you hold the camera? Let me demonstrate how to make the turn real quick. Yeah. I think it'll be helpful. Let me demonstrate how to do just a, a brief three-point turn so we you know not leave that gap and get you back on line.
backwards. Uh, go backwards. Yeah, just make just make a make a half turn and then go backwards and get straight on your line before you start going again. Turn the blades on and then push that red lever all the way up to idle it up. Yeah, turn them on first and then push it all the way up. able to get it back on the on the line there our lines may not be perfectly straight but you know what that's one of the benefit one of the downsides of the cool season grass I mean the warm season grasses like Bermuda's you can't really stripe it very well one of the downsides is when you don't make good straight lines it doesn't really show up so it doesn't matter I should say it doesn't matter as much. It's not as noticeable. I, I still prefer straight lines, but you know. Backing up and getting it straight again. Much improved. grass was a little taller it'd be easier to tell where she's been you know we're we're not cutting off very much of the grass because it really wasn't very tall she made a lot sharper turn that time but we're almost done you know show you sometimes people ask me you know should I overseed my yard or should I fill in some sod you know if you got spots like this this is from plug in this yard last year uh, it's will fill in no problem I mean you know I got bare spots all over this yard because we plugged it last fall and it didn't have time to fill in before winter came the Bermuda particular spread really fast now if you got zoysia or something like that it is it's a lot slower to spread but like something like this it's got bare spots just fertilize it and let it grow if you want a quick fix you can you can put sod in there but you know sometimes that sod it takes takes some time for it to take root and start spreading and sometimes it's easier just especially with me I'm trying to cover several acres worth of grass I'm just plugging it and watching it spread and over time you'll be amazed at how much how much grass you can grow in one summer of the own a fertilizer company she's turning it a lot better on those turns now she kind of got the hang of the whole zero turn my neighbors uh, think well I don't know what they think to be honest with you we had a horrible yard when we moved in here overseed with rye grass and we had a nice green yard over the winter then I sprayed the rye grass and killed it and it was went back to being super thin now it's filling back in with Bermuda so I just tell them hey give me a little time it's gonna look good you know just, just it's gonna take a minute or two should say a month or two not a minute or two I think that's I think that's good all right you can idle it down all right now turn it off okay so uh, 
What, what, after your first time cutting grass, what did you say? You liked it, you didn't like it, it what would you say? No, it was, I mean, I think it was, it's kind of fun once you get the hang of it. And I yeah. I think I, um, this, just the turning was hard to get the hang of. Yeah. You um, got better. You, just you certainly got a lot better. a little bit, like. Yeah. But, I mean, I think I can, I can get used to maybe, maybe cutting the front grass, the front yard. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got a lot better as you went along and I think uh, it's hard a little bit hard to tell because the grass it wasn't that tall it's a little bit hard to tell where you had been where you hadn't been but yeah that uh, was why I was having a hard time when I was coming back around and I couldn't tell like stay in line yeah appreciate you watching the video I'm Jason Creel I hope you learned something maybe if, if you uh, hadn't been out there on zero turn mower this will give you encouragement to get out there and at least give it a try obviously you want to use the safety precautions uh, but it can be fun and, and especially when you when you got a nice machine and to get out there and enjoy enjoy the weather make your yard look good uh, and it's just you know some people just really find cutting grass therapeutic i like it. i like the finished results and i like riding around on the machine so i hope it's been helpful i got over 500 videos on uh, the channel if you haven't done so i'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel click the bell beside the subscribe button that will let youtube know let you know when i create new content also if you're in the lawn business i've got resources available for you over at lawncarelife.com you might check those out talk to you later bye